So I heard you want to farm Chamber of Starlight. Let me in! Today's exotic armor is arms. I have builds I recommend each class run in the description. Let's hop right into it. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do when we enter this lost sector is just snipe this sniper in the back of the map, and we're gonna take some shots at this guy, but really what you wanna do is after you take care of that sniper, you're gonna wanna proceed forward and jump over this unstoppable champion right to this position where I am currently standing. What that's gonna do is it's gonna have the unstoppable face you, and then its shield will be facing that direction. That way you can stand right where I was just standing to glaive it down, and the beautiful part about this position that we're currently standing in is the unstoppable shield is not facing us, but the unstoppable is also body blocking us from all the ads, so we can take care of him very, very easily by just meleeing him down. Now guys, when you are meleeing with a glaive, you're gonna wanna hold the block button because that does increase your cast speed. Now at this point in time, we're just gonna snipe these two taken hobgoblins in the back of the map and that solar shielded enemy. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to just run past all of the rest of the ads. Now if you are doing this on void invisibility, it's gonna be so fast because all you need to do is take care of that unstoppable champion. You don't even need to kill that first sniper, just kill the unstoppable champion and then you will be able to proceed forward and just skip all all of these ads with invisibility every other class is going to have to do what i'm doing here and what that is is we're just going to use our shield to proceed into the next room but at this point in time we have dealt with the majority of the ads so we don't even need to use our shield we could just kill them with our glaive and proceed forward a void glaive will be great for that now at this point in time we are in this next section and what you're gonna need to do is stun this unstoppable champion as soon as possible because I don't know if you guys saw but what the unstoppable champion was doing was he was trying to retreat to the other side of the room and when he does that this lost sector becomes so much longer than it needs to be guys so remember you're gonna need to grab this unstoppable champion's attention now this is one of the easiest lost sectors in the game honestly I put affiliates rest above it but these are the top two so guys this is such a good farm today you're gonna see how fast we clear this I mean your average lost sector is like a five six minute clear this is two up to four if you're not running a super optimal build now after we take care of that unstoppable champion we another one is going to spawn so again you're going to want to grab its attention very fast both of them will try to retreat to the other side of the room really really easy stuff we're just going to use our glaive you see we have the caliban's hand and what that does is if we kill an ad with the caliban's hand you can see it it just causes an explosion an ignition and it just clears every single ad in the area which is fantastic i absolutely love caliban's hand unfortunately it is no longer a solar season so we can't take advantage of for example last season we did have the fire bolts but it's still quite good now after we take care of that unstoppable we're just gonna have to take care of the boss and that's gonna be really easy stuff guys you can take care of him from right here you're all you're gonna need to do is kill the two taken hop goblins and what they're doing is making the boss immune so obviously we have to take care of them and then at that point we could just use our rocket on the boss now after we take care of the boss there is an overload champion you guys can deal with that if you want to but in my experience unless you're using something like thunderlord it will just add on an extra minute and it has diminishing returns in terms of the score that it gives you so i don't personally actually deal with that overload champion in my runs unless i'm using thunderlord but you guys can if you want to and it'll add on an extra minute so we're trying to get the rockets off but as you can see the boss is very very evasive so if you don't have mech stacks of rockets you're going to want to move forward a little bit i like this position because again we have a lot of ammo it doesn't matter if we miss a couple of them and also from this position we're not taking any damage which is beautiful so with max stacks of rockets, we were able to make short work of him. We also had our super, so we definitely could have moved forward. But yeah, guys, really, really easy farm today. Again, it is <laughs> the best lost sector in the game. We do die, but it doesn't matter, guys. Definitely not going to want to miss out on this farm today, guys. Really, really good stuff. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post lost sector guides daily. I have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. And if everyone watching this subscribed, we could hit it in a week, which would be crazy. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.